Assalamu alaikum. Hey everyone, this is Amin and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, now I will show you how to scrap data from website using Google Chrome Web Scraper. Before starting the tutorial, I am requesting you if you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video to your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, and other social media so that other people can also learn from this video. And after watching this video, if you need any kind of web scrapping service or any kind of help about web scraper IO, please comment on the video. Also, you can contact me. All my contact details you will find on the video description below, also on my YouTube channel cover page. So friends, let's start the tutorial. I have already successfully installed the web scraper extension on my Google Chrome browser. If you still not install the web scraper on your browser, just install it and then see the next process. I will use this website from where I will scrape the data. As I have successfully installed the web scraper on my Google Chrome browser, so just click on here, the right click on your mouse, click on um, inspect and when you click inspect, you will find the web scraper here. After that, click on here, create a sitemap. Okay, just write the sitemap name. I just write the sitemap here, e-commerce, as it is the e-commerce website. And here you have to give the website link from where you want to get the data. Click on here, create sitemap. After that here, click on here, add a new selector and give the, I uh, just give the ID name. So I just give the ID name here, the category and here you have to choose the link and as i want to get the link for the computers and the phones okay then click on here select then choose the computers and then choose the phones it will select the link of the computers and phones as i have select the link in the type section okay then click on here done selecting as i found here multiple link choose the multiple section here click on here save selector so this selector is saved successfully you can see the data preview here so here you see that the computers phones in the category and these are the uh, hyperlink we found here okay just click okay close it here after that click on here computer as i want to get the subcategory of the computer laptops and tablets okay then choose the subcategory here and click on here add a new selector and write the subcategory i just want to write the subcategory here okay subcategory and here i also want to get the link of the laptops and the tablets then click on here select click laptops click tablets okay then click done selecting choose the multiple here as i also want to get the multiple okay then click on here sub selector after that click on here the laptops as i want to get the product link or the product link from the laptop section here click on the subcategory here click on add new selector so here's the product link okay just write the product i just write the product here and here i also want to get the link of that product here so again just choose the link then selector okay select okay click on here this one again click on this one when you choose these two the other product link will be automatically selecting here click on done selecting okay as i also want to get the multiple link here choose the multiples here then click save selector okay it is now saved then click on here the product link here again one product link as i want to get the uh, every information from the product link here okay just click on here the product okay from that page i want to get everything here now add a new selector okay just click the here the title as i want to get the titles here title now i want to get the titles here so it will be text not link okay just title then click on here select choose the title here then click done selecting okay it is now selected then click save 
selector now i want to get the price of that uh, product so just click add new selector again here the id name will be the price okay id name will be the price it will be the text also then click select choose the price here done selecting save selector and repeat the same process to get the description and the other thing okay i just want to repeat the same process here so i just want to get the description here select okay description done selecting and then save selector again add new selector here the image okay this will be the image and it will be the here the as i want to get the image here so you have to change it was this will be the image okay this will be the image then select okay choose the uh, image here done selecting and here just click on here save selector now one more important thing i just want to mention that okay if you select the 128 you see this one is the data but if you choose 256 this data is changed again if i select the this one 512 then this data is changed i will create my next video how we can get the next data so if you want to really if you want to learn about this how i can get the data that will be changed please subscribe to my youtube channel and watch my next video and please comment on the video okay so these are the thing i have successfully selected here okay now i want to get the reviews here add new selector here again i want to get the reviews here just rest reviews and it will be the text here 14 reviews text okay select and the, this will be the reviews okay done selecting this one okay just click on here step selector now i have successfully configure my uh, site map here that means all the data that i want to get from that website now i just want to show if my all selection is working well or not okay just click on here data preview here you see that this is the title we successfully get just close it and just see the price it is also working well close it this way you can check everything if anything wrong you can edit it here okay so i hope all my selection is working well successfully now i want to show my sitemap here okay just sitemap now click on the sitemap name as this one okay then click on here the selector graph and this is the road okay then you you have to understand this one so this one is the home page here you said this one is the home and then it is the root okay then i then i have uh, i then i have selected the computers and the phone so this is the category and now i have click on the category and then we have go to the subcategory so computer is the category so laptop and tablets is the subcategory okay subcategory okay then click on here the subcategory so we will go to the product link so click on the subcategory as the laptop and we have go to the this this page here uh, okay product page and if you click on the product page we found all the data from the product individual page so this is the total graph you have to understand very successfully otherwise your scraper will not work Many of my viewers uh, uh, just ask me on or email me, contact me uh, just about this kind of problem. That's the reason I am uh, using a simple website to make everything clear. If you understand it very properly, then you can scrap any data. Now I want to scrap the data. Okay, just click on here, scrap. When you click on scrap, request interval, you can change the time frame here. I don't want to change anything here. Just click on here, start scrapping. When you click on start scrapping, this data will be start to scrap. Now here you see the data is scrapping here. So you see here, it is now scrap here. Okay, so first first thing is scrap and it is now scrapping the phone here so next area and other thing i just want to pause the video and i will start i will show you what this scrapper scrapped from this website 
so web scraper has successfully scrapped this website after it has successfully completed the scrapping process you will find this data here okay it will show nothing here just click on here refresh when you click on refresh you will find all data that did this scraper successfully scrapped from the targeted website okay so these are the total data we have found uh, after that just click on here and click on the sitemap okay sitemap and then click on here export data when you click on export data you will find two types of file types then you can uh, download i want to download as the xls okay uh, then click on here okay open i want to show what the scrapper has successfully scrapped okay so you see here that okay i just enable editing and i want to show you exactly okay click on here and just format it here and then here you see that this is scrapper uh, order and these are the url these are the category category link subcategory and the um, link product link okay this is a product product link title successfully get the title and also get the price everything that we uh, selected on the uh, that we already selected on the uh, web scraper okay just we found total 148 data here so this is the total process i just want to explain in this video i hope this video is helpful to you if you have any kind of question about this video or if you need any kind of help about web scraping please comment on the video and also i one more thing i want to announce that uh, from now i will upload regularly videos especially on web scraping and data scraping on my channel so if you really like to know about web scraping want to earn money from upwork fiber by learning web scraping please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video bye